Hi, I'm Pam Holmbeck. This is my show this month here at the gallery, Above and Beyond. And I wanted to do two things during the show. I wanted to really show the skies that we have around us. It's just incredible when you're outside all the time looking. And I wanted to show a little bit of abstraction, which I started playing around with. When they first asked me to do the show, I had several different ideas. I started thinking I would do a show of white, white clouds, white flowers. So I did a few white clouds. Then I was up in the mountains shooting pictures for the white clouds, and we spent a lot of time by the South Platte River. And I thought, oh, I need to include the river. So I did a whole series of river paintings. None of those paintings made it into the show because I kept looking at sunset, sunrise, and the different clouds. So there was a long progression before I came up with uh, mostly sunrise, sunset, cloud series. In the meantime, I wanted to really push myself the last couple of years. And I won. The last two winners have done an artist residency in Chapala, Mexico, which is in the middle of Mexico on Lake Chapala. And when I got there two years ago for that residency, I anticipated painting the sunsets on the lake. And I thought, but I always paint sunsets, do something different. So I spent that residency abstracting the lake. When I came back, I showed an artist friend the paintings and they said, that's what you need to do for your show. So that kind of stayed in the back of my mind. In the meantime, I took an online color theory class and that really, really pushed my color. So I'll start back here. This is Spinney Reservoir. We have a boat and we go up there fishing off and on and the sunsets are just incredible. So when I did this big one for the color study, I did what's called a seventh chord. And this whole thing is painted with only four different colors. So it's painted with permanent rose, violet, cerulean, and cad yellow deep. So when you use a limited palette, it really makes your painting way, way more harmonious. So I had all these colors in front of me and knew exactly what I was going to do. Never had to worry about any other colors. And when I abstracted it, the colors were right here in front of me. So I looked at the colors and the shapes in here and transferred them to all the different abstract paintings. For these two, these are double complements. So in color theory, complement would be the two colors opposite on the color wheel. So these are the double complements. So these are ultramarine, cad yellow deep, violet, cad yellow pale. I took two colors and used their complement. But I did throw in green. I did cheat just a little bit. Again, I had it all right here, the whole thing um, just became so much easier. You don't have to think of what colors do I need to mix this color. When I got to the abstracts on these, I really followed the shapes. So this line here is this line there. This line here, you can see that's how I did the main shapes. The yellow triangle, yellow triangle. Change the size of the blue here. There's a horizontal blue. In an abstract, it doesn't have to be the same size, or so I told myself. <laughs> diagonal line here, diagonal line here. This is our view in the mountains. So a lot of these are our view from the mountains. And it just has incredible sunsets, incredible colors. So the colors in the sunsets inspired the abstracts. This one again, Sunset in the mountains, this is Buffalo Peak. This is what we look at every day. Um, this one took kind of a long time because <laughs> it kept looking like a volcano erupting and I had to paint that little part over and over again, but it got there. Again, I used the just, just these double complementary colors 
and took some of the lines, horizontal line, a horizontal line, a loop, a loop. This shape became this shape, but I changed the color. I realized as the abstracts went on and on, the colors and the shapes, while well, I tried to stick with them, I didn't have to have the same color in the same shape. Then I also realized I could just throw things in there. <laughs> um, this one is our view here in Colorado Springs. We live on the west side of town, so when I wake up, I look at the sunrise if I'm up there early enough. This was, these were some of the first ones I abstracted, and they were a little more strict. I wasn't quite sure how to do it, so on my um, sketchbook, I drew out all the different shapes that I saw in here. The shape, these shapes of the trees, the shapes of the foreground trees, and then I drew those on here and painted those in. So these are a little more, Oh, I guess the word would be these are a little more stylized because I stuck with it. But by the time I got over to the end, I didn't have to draw them anymore. I could paint the shapes without drawing the shapes and painting them in. This again is our view, our sunrise. So this, for the color study, I just used a primary triad. So, Red, yellow, blue are the primary colors, but there are many, many reds and yellows and blues. In the morning, the yellow is cool because the sun hasn't been up all morning. So this yellow is a cad lemon. So all of these are from the cad lemon. Um, and then I didn't know which red to use, so I tried two different reds out on here and ultramarine, um, blue and cerulean, two blues. That way I'm trying everything out here. Down on the bottom, I made the grays because you do have grays in there and the grays are by mixing the opposite colors. So here's all my little grays that I used. So again, I, then I only used three colors for the whole painting, which means more mixing, but at the same time, the paintings come out a little bit more harmoniously. Same thing here. This one was, these abstracts were done a little bit later, so they are looser shapes with the colors. And again, I just found, okay, there's a horizontal, put in a horizontal. There's a purple, put in a purple. And they just sort of, by the end of the paintings, really, really flowed. These are out in the um, plains, and it's in November, so it's already cloud and you have these beautiful browns and this kind of storm approaching and these I loved these colors I they're very different than the other sunrise sunset colors and again in the, um, in the abstracts I repeated the the shapes the horizontals the diagonals and just played around with all the different colors this again is our view so I, I think this, you know, you, you can't not like sunsets. These I did with palette knife and the side of a credit card to give it different texture. So it still has shapes and colors, but instead of using brushes, I tried something a little bit uh, different. And these were the only ones I ended up doing this way. Um, and they are kind of fun. Well, I think for me, the whole show, it evolved through what I wanted to paint, uh, through the abstracts, through the color studies, and then through my just pushing myself. Because at first, I was really unsure about even showing the abstracts. I'm not an abstract painter. And until those two weeks in Mexico, I hadn't done any abstract art. And I thought, can I paint all these and can I put myself out there and can I do this? And yeah, I, I, you can. You can put yourself out there. You can do something different. You can grow. You can push yourself. And for me, this was really, really fun. I just painted away, painted away. And I, I found it just like push myself. 
had I not been doing the show, I might not have done quite so many. I might have done one of these and one of these and one of these, but because I had the show, I just really painted more and more abstractly, more and more of these abstracts. And I just hope other people, if you're thinking about putting yourself out there, go for it. I mean, what's the worst thing that will happen? Nobody likes them or you don't like them, but I found I loved them. So now I'm thinking, what's my next step? Maybe some large abstracts. Well, actually they are. I have three at home I'm working on in my studio. So yeah, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. It was fun. I'm so grateful to have had the show and to have done all of these. Thank you.